Hello YouTube, welcome. Today we are here with the official original Samsung S2, the GTI 9100. And it's running Jelly Bean. It also has a little crack in the screen. So uh, I just got a little uh, protection, uh, display protection and I'm gonna put it on so we don't hurt our fingers and the experience will be like touching a brand new glass okay so let's do that real fast let's polish it a bit and soon we're gonna root the phone first and then we're gonna install a custom recovery and then we're gonna upgrade to Android 601 this phone is several years old but uh, as my testing experience confirms it works amazing on Android 6 okay that's it screen is done okay there we are with the Samsung S2 GTI 9100 it's running Android 4.1.2 what we're gonna do now is reboot the phone in a recovery we will hold up the volume the home button and we're gonna wait for the lights to turn off and then we're gonna press two times now press two times on the power button so it goes on and it will go into the official recovery mode there we are the android is lying on his back to be programmed now you will find in the package a special file and it's called clockwork mod it's from phil phil's recovery or i think that is the guy's name just go ahead and scroll for the file and it will give you a temporary clockwork mod it's uh, a clockwork mod that will help you to flash the root file so we can root this phone And it's a little bit hard to see so we just check the lines and there we go this is the flashing of clockwork mod and there we have it installed clockwork mod with touch and in fact now we can go ahead and select the root file so we can root this phone select from SD card and uh, just look for the root file and root the phone and you're done your phone is now rooted now we can go ahead to the next step and that is to install the permanent clockwork mod 6 onto this phone so we can continue to the upgrade to Android 6 let's go to that step now for the next step we're gonna need or we will need a Windows computer and you will need a little tool called Audin we will also put the phone into a download mode we do that by turning the phone off, holding down the volume button, the home, and then press power on. As you can see, the phone is now in a download mode. You will now get another file from me, and that is called clockwork mode. We just flashed it. Select AP and flash it. We reboot the phone back into recovery and find that we now have a permanent uh, recovery installed. And there you can see it. It's clockwork mod 6.x we can now safely go ahead and install Android but I will show you that you will first have to format the system and remove the old Android before you can even think of this because we will get an error after the verification of the installation of Android 6 build CN13 official and we're gonna wait and see what will happen
the Android died, unfortunately. So we have a problem here, and in fact, what we need to do is we need to clean up the drive, the internal drive of the phone, and we need to format all these partitions. That is what we need to do. Just go to mount, and up there you will find all the partitions. Just go down and format system, format whatever you see that I'm formatting there, the whole list, one by one. Format it, because it still has the old Android on it, and that is preventing the install to go right. So make sure to do that, otherwise you will run into an error as you could see just now. This is the right way how to do it. This is an upgrade from Jelly Bean all the way up to Android 601. And I must inform you and tell you that a developer already created the Android 8 ROM for this phone, so we might take a look into that as well. But we will need to install another recovery called Twerp to even think of that installing Lineage OS or Android 8. Also we will need to partition the drive with another PID file. We will have to create a bigger partition for this to be uh, possible so we can upgrade and install Lineage OS cause uh, effect the power is available in the phone to run it but the way the partitions are set up um, it's in fact not suitable to run these big uh, in megabytes uh, new Android versions and by partitioning and using a greater PID file you can change the size of the PID and then you will be able to install a higher version and a bigger version in megabytes of Android. Okay, so um, we just installed uh, CN13 official and now we're gonna flash my my Pug mod on top of it. And in fact this was for the Galaxy Prime, the mod that I created for the Galaxy Prime and as you can see it's flashing just fine on the Samsung S2. Um, even though the Prime is a bigger screen, ha yeah, has a bigger screen, you will find out. Oh yeah, please click no for fixing the root. You will find out that the boot animation uh, will look fine on the Samsung S2, and that's because the resolution of this screen is just as good as the one from the Galaxy Prime, as we will find out in a second. And we have the yellow triangle, old school triangle, and there it goes booting up with the iOS mod flashed into the installation and we did it uh, peeps uh, we upgraded uh, official Samsung S2 on official firmware we rooted the firmware we first installed clockwork mod 1 and then we rooted the uh, the phone with the clockwork mod 1 we then put the phone into uh, Arden mode and we flashed the official uh, clockwork mode that we needed, KitKat compatible. All files will be, of course, uh, in the description. Just download them, including the iOS mod that works for the Samsung S2. So I can also uh, use it and apply it to a S2. We're looking at a real-time boot. And you can see the format of the Apple is, is, is just beautiful. And in some moments from now, all the apps will be installed, upgraded. And soon you can use your phone, set it up. You have a built-in firewall. You will have to turn on the root access, 
by going into settings and go all the way down about the phone and here you can see the apps are being installed about the phone and then go to build number and tap it for eight or nine times and then you will see a little message saying that you are a developer now and then you can go one back and look for developers options turn on advanced boot scroll a bit down and check for root and set that to apps only after doing that you will be able to turn on your firewall and block certain apps from entering the internet so your phone won't be broadcasting 24 7 and better battery life will be enormous uh, with these settings as we found out and learned in the last uh, year that we are doing this project and we're upgrading the apps I'm showing you this in real time just to give you an idea of how it works and how long it is that it takes and I must tell you um, the phone is running it up now the Samsung S2 and it's amazingly uh, uh, beautiful it's it looks great um, it's very stable battery life looks good uh, battery was full last night and it's at I think 80% now it wasn't doing too much it's recording now the music that you hear on the background that is uh, played live by my brother and guitar player Eric and uh, yeah we're making this uh, video together about the Samsung S2 also a phone that he owned was one of his first Samsung's he's now having the Samsung S7 I think and he as well is amazed about how good Android 6 looks and runs on this phone so I can I can really advise it I will uh, also store the ROM I will give you the original link but I will also store it on my media via just in case sometimes sites just disappear and change into something else and then files are being yeah deleted and people cannot get to the files anymore and uh, yeah then in fact you have a problem but I must tell you that this ROM uh, it comes from the Lineage OS team, the CM, yeah, Cyanogen mod team. They changed into Lineage OS now, but this is, as you can see, in the same style and uh, reliability that you can expect from this team of developers. There you can see my Galaxy Prime. The screen is so much bigger, but the resolution of the S2 is the same as you could see with the boot animation it looked just fine that while the boot animation was created for the Galaxy Prime and in fact yeah it has to do with the AMOLED screen of the Samsung S2 a very nice phone still to have in 2017 really there's nothing wrong with this phone the only wrong thing is that it's on 4.12 and uh, yeah people are selling them forgetting to wipe the USB drive so make sure if you're gonna uh, sell this phone not just to reset uh, data reset wipe not even uh, go into the recovery mode and then wipe data factory from there because all your pictures and all your stuff will still be on the phone and you're selling it with the idea that it's clean and that while it's not so um, yeah be sure to do uh, a good cleaning of this phone because it happened to me as well one day and I also bought phones sometimes with all sorts of private information still on the phone that's why I wiped these phones immediately the same day including the information there we go uh, we are now um, yeah we're gonna skip this we're not gonna log on yet we need to set up the phone first and this is the setup screen we are in peeps we did it the Samsung S2 is now upgraded to Android 601 a good choice 
and we can always say yes we have Android 7 and 8 but as I said um, you will have to do some changes to the system and it could also go wrong eh? it could also go wrong I lost the S2 plus because of this so I'm um, in fact I mean S2 9100 I lost uh, thanks to uh, or thanks to thanks to a wrong flash uh, and there we are we can log in with of course the iOS mod and there we are the system is set up we are in Android 6 we're gonna turn on root now the things that I said but I was telling you that um, in fact um, installing Android 7 and 8 on this phone uh, will uh, require for you to flash the PIT file and the PIT file um, yeah, if, if something goes wrong with the flashing then the phone never turns on anymore so you can kill your phone by doing that if you do it wrong and uh, if, if you select the wrong file so be very careful uh, I'm gonna do it uh, still because um, yeah if I fail then I will look for another S2 again and then we're gonna try it again until we don't fail anymore that's just how it is right we learn from our fails so there we go uh, we uh, we selected everything and uh, we are now uh, gonna turn on the route And this, the moment uh, root is turned on for apps, we will be able to set up our firewall. Well, peeps, this was it. I will not make this video any longer. You know about setting up the system already. And if you do not, uh, please uh, look in my video list of the last month. I upload videos on daily base. Uh, check out my list and find all my Puck iOS ROMs uh, videos. Uh, most of the times, uh, uh, they are all about setting up the phone uh, after you installed it. I have many videos about that learning and talking about the privacy guard talking about uh, uh, the firewall teaching you uh, many handy things you like to know um, about your phone and how to use it in a safe way especially if you're also using an old phone still well that's it uh, peeps I want to thank you for watching also um, I want to thank Eric for uh, the fantastic guitar music uh, that he played live while I'm creating this video so once again uh, if you uh, like this video leave it a thumbs up uh, for my Nederlandse mensen laat een blauw duimpje achter als je dit ook een leuk filmpje vond alle uh, files zul je in, uh, in uh, de beschrijving vinden including the links will be in description so uh, download it and make your S2 a fantastic phone again till my next video and bye bye